it's, speaking of coaches not believing in you, Bryce. <sighs> that be that my a, thing, though, bro. Like you can't say that cover two is out should be banned and outlawed and is hurting the game when y'all not even developing quarterbacks. Now then, now that he's not getting developed. He's not getting developed as a quarterback, bro. I'm gonna play that with that. They said they got the quarterback guru there now. Who? Uh, I was watching something. And they was I don't know the his dude name, that was with like Cam Newton. Of, yeah, it's like the officer coordinator. Who? Denalis, the head coach. Yeah, Denalis. They say he's like quarterback guru. Oh wow! Man. So maybe this is part of his guruing. Benching him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. I tell him, you know, I almost did this to Tom <laughs> or something like that. Mm. You know, you like when coaches hit you with the old school stories, what they did the old school great players. Yeah, I do. You do? It worked with me. It did. Yeah, it <laughs> oh, worked. Work. You, you tell me some shit that you did with Zach Thomas. It's, fuck it. All right. All right. <laughs> Zach Thomas did it. I'm gonna do it. Fuck yeah, it. let's do it. Yeah, that's me though. But I'm saying it with right with right in Bryce's situation though, like how much of that is a bad how much of that is his I team? Think, I don't and know how much because of that is the him. team. The team didn't play good last year or the year before. Okay. You did what I'm saying. The team wasn't playing good when he got there. Right. He's supposed to be the and difference maker. And they're still maker. not playing well in his year, too. He's supposed to be the difference maker, is he not? I think that's a little bit of an overrated fact. Not to say that it can't happen, really? but mm-hmm. I just think, like, football is the ultimate team game. No matter how good you are, you really are only as good yeah, as people Yeah, you're as good as a team, so. Okay. And, and let me say this. Everybody around you ain't got to be good, but at least they got to be put in positions to make you make everybody better, bro. Like, it's, it's mm. like everybody, it's like... Football is ultimate. That's why I love the game, bro. That's why I love the game, bro. But I don't know if it's a diet. If, if, if you, like, if you, like, going backwards by benching your first round, first pick in year two. Because if you're going to go through the growing pains of him getting better, is he getting better on the bench? You know what I'm saying? I don't think That's so. wasted reps. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he gets better. Like, at that point, you're wasting him reps, not playing. bro. Like, what? So you saying that you're not benching him indefinitely, but then you're going to bring Like, just... I mean, I don't know. I mean, is it something that he's not seeing? Like, it's probably, I mean, we're not and, in the and, building. And, yeah, so. we're not in the building. That's, that's I, I think that's the biggest thing. We're not yeah, in the building, so the we building. don't know what's going on in the building. Okay. Uh, you know, whether he's not going to meet. I don't know what the hell he got going he on. He's not going to meet? But I don't know. But all I'm saying is, nah, yeah, don't, let me, don't yeah, let me put yeah, that yeah, on don't his Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't. I don't know nothing about they mean. Do not know. I don't know nothing about they mean. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's just like because I've even been seeing some weird shit about like and it's just like bro like a part of a young like there's growing pains with it they got to mm. learn through a lot of this shit bro True. it's like you, you don't just roll out of bed and be Josh Allen or fucking you know Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre like like there was highs and lows to that and I think just what we always talk about like a part of greatness is overcoming uh, adversity exactly yeah and uh, I think without like sometimes that uh, that adversity is. Oh, you know, he, you know, can't, can he see over the line or he's just this or whoop, whoop, whoop. And then when you overcome that, that's when that greatness kick in. Like that's when, that's when you start to build that leeway. Sometimes but, it got to be that way. And a lot of this shit really be about narratives. Bro. And in my, and I guess my next question is that as how many Baker Mayfields do we have out here? A lot, bro. Sam Donald. Shout out to Sam Donald. I mean, but. Turning the shit around. Shout out to Flacco. Flacco for still sure. spinning. No, no, no. But I mean, what I mean is that like, we saw what the highs and lows of the league has been for Baker Mayfield. I mean, Derek Carr went through it. Derek Carr went through it. A lot of people it. went but through it. But they found situ- they found situations though. But this is what I'm saying though. I feel like even all right, oh, let's even use Baker uh for example. Right. Bro, they rolled it out with him the whole way though. In Cleveland. Bro. Yeah, bro. Like now if you get to the fifth year or to the fourth year and it's like, man, it's not the guy. But like, bro, for a quarterback, it really take that much time, bro. Okay. Because all it takes is one year and they figure it out and now they are him. Okay. But you gotta get you gotta be with them and lean with them through through these highs and lows. Like mm-hmm. I just I mean, like again, we not look, he he the head coach. I mean, I ain't look, man. Who am I? You feel me? Like, shit, you feel me? But I'm just like, that's tough. Like, nice. to do to a young boy, I just be hating what it do to the young boy career. Like, mm. you feel Confidence me? Confidence and all. Yeah, and it's now it's like, damn, like, you the number one overall that got benched in a year and a half. Not <laughs> even. And it's just like, damn. But I'm, like, but I'm saying, though, like, you. When you the first pick, first, when you the first round, first pick at quarterback, you didn't go to a good situation. No. The, and no, head coach, coach got fired. Yeah. You didn't go to Halfway a good through situation. your rookie year. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, I'm saying so, but like, how much? How much of that is? Who's that's, they receiver one? How much? Um, Thielen, Adam yeah, Thielen, Adam Thielen, or uh, Thielen? Deontay, or Deontay, Le- Deontay Johnson. Now, is it the legit uh, dude from South Carolina? Hell no, he don't play. 
It's no, Deontay, I, know. I think. It's Deontay and Thielen. But that, but uh, I guess my like I said, then my question is, is that how much, as uh, much <laughs> as much as Bryce. Um, at production, lack of production, whatever it is, him being in that situation, do you just not play him? Like you said, because they rolled, they they rolled, they rolled the horse with with Baker. Does care? Why is Carolina not doing that with Bryce? Again, we got to be in the building to know those type of things. So it's okay, because like, I feel like it's definitely a deeper situation. It's more than okay. You, you, okay. I would say this though: you would be really be surprised how many times like. Shit is burning in around the world. Like outside the building, the world <laughs> is falling. And inside the building, y'all know exactly what the fuck about to go on. Okay. Like inside the building, you ain't probably like, yeah, like look, Bryce probably needed these four weeks to just get back to just woo, learning how to have fun playing football. Now we woo, woo, let Andy go out there and just cook. Woo, woo. This probably should have happened at the beginning. Da, 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 okay. da. Like for all we know, Bryce was supposed to wait it out last year. You feel me? It'd be like a bunch of shit. And then you, when you in the building, you know, you'd be like, oh, yeah, it was just this. But outside of the building, it's, oh, my God, it's over. <laughs> Third sell the team is over. Like, it'd be like, dog, it, it, it's never that deep. Selling the franchise is crazy. Um, yeah, that's crazy. But, yeah, yeah man, you got to have, have faith in our young QBs, man. That's all I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Have faith, bro. Yeah. And ride with them, bro. You got to ride with them, bro. For sure, for sure.